Hey guys, it's Kekris and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to continue our Qatar Airways series and this is going to be all about day two. So if you want to know what's going to happen on the day two of Qatar Airways assessment day, make sure that you keep on watching. Okay, on the day two of the Qatar Airways cabin crew assessment day, there will be two, two, two eliminations. There will be two eliminations. So I'm going to talk about the first half of the day. So expectations. Expect that there will be about 50 to 60 people who are going to be with you on that day. On the registration, they will ask you to fill up the registration form and you will be asked to have a sticker put down on your coat. Okay? They have a dress code for the second day, so make sure that you follow the dress code for the second day. And also, on the first half of the second day, what they're going to do or what is the itinerary? First off is going to be a briefing from the recruiters they will talk in front of you after that there will be a video that they will show it will be all about Qatar and Qatar Airways they will ask you one by one to go at the back do a reach test they will ask you about your scars moles and tattoos while everyone else or all of you are taking the English test after that first elimination so here are my tips for you. Take care of that sticker that you are going to put on your blazer. Don't lose it, okay? It's very important that they know your names and also your numbers will be there. So your number, um, they will call you by number. Uh, if your number is not called, meaning you are eliminated. So make sure you take note of that. My next tip for you is whenever somebody is talking in front, never, never look like you are not listening. Always put all your attention to whoever is taking the floor because it's very important. It is one of the reasons that they eliminate candidates. So don't look at your phone, don't yawn, don't look at the room over the room, you know, pay attention to whoever is speaking. That's the way that you get through this round as well as during the video i know it's going to be a long video it might be boring for you always sit upright pay attention to the video whenever you are caught looking at your phone slouching sleeping yawning talking to other people in the interview room or in the in the assessment room oh my god you will not be carrying on to the next stage of the process believe me i learned it through my own mistakes okay so eight times i tried for this and that is how i know all of this anyways moving on to my tips okay my next tip for you is during the english test they will be asking you to remove your coat go to the back you know um, they will ask you to do a reach test they will ask you to show them any scars moles and tattoos when you are doing this make sure that you do not frown or show any signs of insecurity show them your tattoos and moles with a smile okay don't look at it as something that is bad about you or something that is you are ashamed of like for example i have a mole here and they always ask me about it so whenever they ask me do you have any tattoos uh, moles or scars i would tell them i have a beauty mark here i have a scar here behind my leg it's a motorcycle accident and that's it and i say it exactly the way i'm saying right now with a smile don't like say it now mm. i have a mole here I actually have a scar here you know this kind of facial expressions is the reason that you will not be uh, called for the next phase all right so take note of that exams. for the exam I don't have any much problem because I know all Filipinos are good in English there will be some exams about um, English vocabulary 
verb tense, past tense, things like that, things like those, um, comprehension, and as well as a little bit of math. But it's easy breezy, guys. No worries about the test. You can make it through. But the other things that I'm talking about, pay attention to that because those are the things that will carry you through the next round. So good luck on your applications. If you made it this far to your applications, you are very lucky. You made it through the first cut, which is the first day. And I also have a video about that. If you haven't watched that yet, check it out. If you like this video or if you find this valuable to you, the next best thing that you could do is head on to my website, misskcris.com and join my email list. Get my free download, which is the eight proven steps to get your dream job as a flight attendant. That is actually the summary of this book, Ready for Takeoff. It is a free downloadable um, document wherein I have summarized the book and also by doing so you are joining my family, my community and welcome if you are <laughs> and that's it. Um, I think that that helps you out. Stay tuned for another series of this Qatar Airways um, series because there is more coming up. So I'll see you on the next video guys. Bye and I will fly with you soon. Mwah.